Alright, so on my Pro XS, I put my spark checker because I wanted to make sure that I was getting spark, which I am. And I checked all my plugs because I got a slight miss. And you know, I changed the water uh, thermostats. Sometimes that'll do it to you. So we got our water separator. I'm thinking it's fuel related. So I got one of these uh, fuel pumps. So I was looking in there and the gasket back here, uh, it doesn't look great. So it idles when we're getting the mist, not running. It's kind of weird, but I'm gonna go ahead and change this and put a new fuel filter on it, I mean fuel pump on it. So we got a pump and it fills the reservoir and then we got we got a low speed fuel pump and a high speed fuel pump. It's a very weird design. Uh, but I'm thinking this is not filling it enough or something's happening with this. So this is a diaphragm you know, it's got diaphragm, so the first thing I'm going to suspect is this. So I think I want to do this one first. So all I got to do is I got to move this over out of the way. So I may have to drop my shroud, my bottom cowling again. In order to get to those two bottom bolts, it would just be easier just to undo it, drop it. Uh, yeah, anyway, there's four bolts on the front. And then you know this will all separate and I think this is just gonna drop down this piece right here there's nothing holding it in you know so I think it just pops down and then we replace our diaphragms so voila yeah Optimax issues that's what we should call this one, Optimax Issues. All right, I dropped my bottom cowling again, and now we got this loose. It's just three bolts, and it's got this little spacer. This bolt's a little longer. That gets us to where the fuel pump is, so I loosen the outline. <clears throat> See, because it goes out. This is our out, and this is also our out. So it pumps, pumps a little fuel down into this intake and then it pumps it into here too. And I'm guessing this kind of oils it. I, I'm not sure how what happens here, but this is tight. So we'll just, I'll just get a pair of, oh, I don't know, some channel locks and move it back and forth and it'll pop off. If it don't, well, I'll cut it. Uh, and then we got four 516 bolts, I believe. Yeah, I don't know if you want to watch this or not, but here we go. Let's see what kind of picture we got here. Yeah, maybe you can see it. Maybe we can't. It's a pretty standard mercury fuel pump. Even though you got a fuel pump in that water separator. Come on off of there. Now that gets us, I'm going to replace this too. Somebody's been in here before because they got a big old hose clamp on it. Anyway, 560s.
I could tell that gasket looked pretty bad. So, I don't know. Maybe 100 hour service, you're supposed to do that. We're at like three, so maybe, maybe some, somebody's been in here. Because it don't look like the your standard fare there. Yeah, that one's loose. Because the gasket behind it is, you can tell the gasket shot. I don't know if this is just a pumping action. This is like pump, yeah, that's what's going on. So this is a pumping action from the engine into this connection and then it's what causes the pump to kind of do its thing. I don't know, this should come off of here. This should at least, it does. There's that. So we can see our little diaphragm deal there. Man, this should just come down. All right, so you probably don't want to do what I just did there. There's four bolts that hold the pump on, and two of the bolts go through into the VST, which mount it on, and there's two bolts that keep the pump together intact. And so you just want to really just take out the two bolts that hold the pump on and then you can pull it all off as one unit instead of uh, taking it all apart here so uh, that you know don't do what I did <clears throat> I I've never taken one of these off before so I've rebuilt these pumps before and they're pretty simple uh, the only thing <clears throat> It's probably a two-part series because I'm going to show where the little plastic for the check valves, there's a little plastic pin. You kind of have to bend a little bit and then you can take a punch and punch that little plastic bar down into the check valve and it locks it into place. So that was one little thing that the newer style... Uh, pumps are a little different in that plastic pin how for the check valves how it's made but um, buy don't don't get the Quicksilver fuel pump I recommend getting the actual mercury pump and it's expensive I mean it's it's a hundred bucks so but on the pro excesses, you know, <laughs> pretty much there's nothing in there that's, I mean, just about every part on that motor is expensive. So just take your time. It's not too hard. This thing ended up actually did fix my problem. Um, so what was happening is the pump wasn't pumping enough fuel into the VST to keep up. Uh, it seemed like it started to miss after you would do a run so you'd come back down to idle and then you'd have a slight miss and it's most likely because they just couldn't keep up with the amount of fuel flow that the VST needed and you could put a meter and check your pressure and uh, it'd probably never show you that it was that it was weak or had failed 